Hey, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I showed you how I took my Starlink satellite dish and flat mounted it into the new star mount flat mount system. And in this video, I will show you how I eliminated the Starlink router. Now one would ask, why do I need that? I run my satellite dish in my vehicle. So in order to run the Starlink router, it needs 110 volt power. So in order to run 110 volt power, I need to take my 12 volt battery and convert that to 110 volt. And inside the Starlink router, it takes that 110 volts and then converts it back to 48 volts. And that's very inefficient. My inverter that converts the 12 volts to 110 volts, that pulls almost 1.4 amps or so of power just in standby mode, even when the router is not turned on. So that draws a lot of battery power and that's uh, un unneeded drain on my battery system. So I uh, came up with a way to power the dish directly from my 12 volt battery, eliminating the whole need for the inverter itself. It makes it a lot more efficient, a lot better on my battery and it'll make my batteries last a lot longer, especially for myself being in a mobile lifestyle. So let me show you how I did that and the parts that you need to get that done. At the end of the video, I'll show you how I also removed the dish from the hood of my vehicle and mounted it in the back of the Jeep in a new mount that Star Mount Systems came up with, which is a quick release bracket which separates the dish from the mount itself, which will allow me to quickly, via two thumb screws, quickly remove the dish and allow me to place the dish anywhere I'd like and it's not permanently mounted to the vehicle itself. This way it allows me, in conjunction with the 12 volt router that I make, allow me to take a portable battery, put the 12 volt router into a ammo type uh, box, detach the dish from the vehicle and make the entire setup portable so it will allow me to basically take my old satellite setup anywhere I go whether it be to uh, Airbnb for example make it man pack portable um, anywhere you wanted to go uh, maybe to a vacation home or possibly you have an RV or a different vehicle so you can take the whole thing portable with you and work on the road. Okay, let me show you the parts that are needed. First we need a way to power the dish and with that we need a 12 volt to 48 power converter. Then we need a way to run the power down to the dish itself and we do that with a poe injector which is a power over ethernet injector and we run that down the cable with a little adapter and uh, that runs the power from the poe injector into the cable itself and we do that with a with this little device uh, made by yusheng so an advantage of this particular device is it requires no cutting of the cable and you just plug the cable directly to it. No splitting of the cable and no splitting or twisting of the wires at all. So they just uh, announced this a couple of weeks ago and it's fantastic. It's been working out great. Once you have these three items hooked up and connected, from there you use any router of your choice. So in my particular case, I use this little uh, GL net router runs off of uh, USB-C and in order, power, in order to power this, I needed to do uh, get a little DC uh, 12 volt to USB-C converter and uh, that's what I have here. So let me show you how this hook gets hooked up real quick. So first you have the 48 convert or 48 volt converter and that gets hooked up to the power connections here and from the PoE outlet goes to the connector here and that gets plugged in and then that gets plugged in here. 
I will be mounting it to this black board that you see here. It's a little floppy here and nothing's anchored down. We'll be mounting it shortly. And then from this connector, as you can see, it's a uh, actual Starlink cable, no cutting. This is the connector that comes straight from the white router, uh, standard Starlink router. You just pull it from the bottom of the box, from the Starlink uh, router, and right into this adapter. And that plugs directly into there. Okay, so, and from the other side of the PoE injector, the port that's marked LAN. I'm going to take your, now from this point, you can use any standard 468B cable. Uh, I believe that's the nomenclature, it's the standard cable. You can buy at any uh, Best Buy or big box store and from there <clears throat> you take your any standard cable and plug that into whichever router that you choose so and that goes into your LAN port there and the only thing that's left in my particular case as I had mentioned before I need to power the router and that's what my little up converter or rather down converter I'm sorry and so that converts my 12 volts to my uh, 5 volts USB-C and that's all that's left. So the only thing that I have to connect is the power and that's this cable here. So this gets connected and these three wires gets connected here. And then I have my power cable in my particular Jeep. Everything's uh, run with power poles. so. I'll be uh, connecting this to an available power pole outlet that I have and that's it so once this is all mounted the only inlets and outlets off this board is power and then the Starlink cable so <clears throat> as uh, we will see shortly when we go back down to the Jeep once I have this mounted I'll show you when we get back down to the Jeep that this particular system is removable I don't have to uh, remove the cable that's running through the Jeep. I'll have this extra cable with me. So all I have to do is unplug the current cable that's in the Jeep, pull this out, uh, have the spare cable with me, so I'll have my router. I can remove the dish that's uh, on a quick release mount in the back. And then I can run this whole system off of a spare battery. So here's a spare battery that I have. This happens to be a 15 amp hour lithium battery. So in theory, I can run this particular setup on a battery and run the whole thing in a backpack and have the whole thing man pack portable. If you need to get, take satellite with you or if you need to, uh, uh, work remotely or what have you if you need to be away from the vehicle you can take your satellite system with you and run it off a of battery power that battery will run the system for about seven or eight hours or so uh, and um, if you wanted to save battery power you can certainly switch the system on and off if need be so well let me uh, let me get this thing all put together and we'll take it down to the Jeep and let me show you how it works okay here we are in the Jeep and just to show you what I used to have is I used to have this router just sitting behind the back seat on the passenger side. And here's, here's my inverter here. And I used to have the router plugged into 110 AC. So my batteries, my house batteries are located underneath the floor here. So my inverter is hooked up to my my 12 volt is hooked up to my 110 volt inverter here, which runs my Starlink router. And that became very inefficient. So now with the new setup that I built here, all we have to do is take the Starlink cable. This runs, we can put this aside, no longer needed. 
So the cable runs back to the dish. We'll show you that in a little bit. So now that plugs directly into the adapter. And then now I have my 12 volt power going to the batteries and we plug that in here. These, for those of you who are not familiar, are called power pole connectors. I have everything in my Jeep wired with power poles, so I standardized my particular vehicle with these. They're excellent connectors uh, and I highly recommend them. So, and that's it. So, just to kind of recap, so your 12 volt comes in here, gets con converted to 48 volts, goes to your PoE injector, which runs your 48 volts to the adapter, which now powers the dish that's in the back. And then this little converter takes your, also your 12 volts so I have USB-C power to power my router. And that's it. So now in essence, I have a router. And again, as stated earlier, you can use a router of your choice. I just picked this one because I'm only using uh, Wi-Fi in the Jeep itself. I don't need anything strong or anything fancy, but you can use any router of your choice. So now I can run Starlink directly off my battery. This whole setup only pulls about 40 watts or so when it's running. So very efficient instead of, so now I'm pulling uh, about 40 watts instead of 1.5, almost two amps doing it the 110 volt conversion way. So it works great. Now all I have to do is figure out where to mount this and in my case, I'll probably mount it uh, because uh, to the wall here, I'll throw some Velcro on the back and mount it to one of my side walls. The inside of my Jeep is all carpeted, so this will work fine. It works great. The app works great. All the functions are the same and it's very efficient. Works great and I haven't had an issue so far. Okay, and then uh, one other advantage I uh, mentioned earlier is that this whole thing is portable. All I did is uh, remove this, uh, unplug this cable real briefly. And bring out this ammo box, unplug the cable, and the whole thing fits neatly into an ammo box. The battery I showed you earlier little 15 amp lithium ion battery fits inside there you close the thing up and you're good to go you have a spare cable of course you got the plastic on there but you get the idea you have a spare cable with you and you have a whole system all I have to do is add some foam padding and uh, maybe a couple little accessories in there. And now I can carry the whole thing with me, all waterproof, and I'm all set. Now, if I wanted to, there are many methods. You can search those on, there's many other YouTube videos on how to cut this cable and make it shorter. I may do that at some point or another and just make a short five or 10 foot cable. Because technically, if you're out in a field, you don't need a 75 foot cable. So I might just make a, a, a 10 foot cable so I can put the dish on the ground and have the router on a picnic bench or something along that line. So the possibilities are endless. So let me take you to the back and show you the, as promised the new mount from Star Mount Systems. Okay, here's a new mount by Star Mount Systems. It's a two piece mount, one piece as seen here, gets mounted to their flat mount uh, dish. So, and that uh, <coughs> keeps this secure. And the mounting plate here gets mounted to wherever you choose to mount it, whether it be on a roof or your vehicle. In my case, 
I mounted it to my uh, cargo carrier that's mounted to my spare tire here. And it's a two-piece system. So on the dish side, it has two tabs on one side and then two holes on the other where two screws or two thumb screws get mounted in. So I'm going to bring the camera in and we'll zoom in and I'll show you how that hooks up. Okay, so this is how the two pieces are going to go together. The front part, you see the tab slides into the little slots and then the back part gets pushed down and then you have these two thumb screws that simply get screwed in which locks the system together and that's it and in my case I have my cable here and that gets hooked up and that's it and then you're done so this allows this allows the dish to be easily removed anytime you want to take it with you or if you happen to park your vehicle in a place where you think theft might be an issue or what have you. So anytime you want, well, for the most part, anytime you want to take the dish with you, two thumb screws, the dish comes off. You can take the cable with you, or in my case, as I showed you, you have a spare cable and, and that's it. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below, like and follow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, thanks for uh, watching.